I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. So check out my hands. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to just do it like this. Let's see. Notice my, uh, my finger is off of R2. All right. Obviously, when I let go of that, boom. Let's see if I can uh, get, get a couple more, a couple more real quick, right from the jump. Let me see. Hold two, boom. You see that? I'm just, I'm just holding L2 and letting it go. Simple. Oh, almost got me. Let me uh, crouch down. This is a weird way of playing. No, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. But you guys see that? All right, real quick. Boom. No. Got him. All right, let's begin the video. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Capozilla, back with another video. All right, guys, let's jump straight into it. The COD model for 22 Pro Game Pack. You guys read the title. This is going to be only and specifically, 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 specifically focusing on sniping, okay? Bear that in mind, focusing on sniping. So the way I'm setting this game pack up, please follow along because I'm setting it up differently than what I normally do. How I normally set it up, this time around is going to be different because I'm focusing on sniping, all right? So auto hold breath, well, aka um, auto focus, like they call it. We want quick scoping and we want aim assist as a shot mod, all right? That's the main focus in today's video, all right? So let's jump straight into it. All the orange, you already know you must match with your in-game settings, all right? So I'm going to just go ahead because all my settings are there, okay? First thing we're going to focus on is right here, global mods, all right? If you want auto hold breath, what that is, what is that, Kev? When you ADS, instead of you clicking in, I believe it's L3, the left stick, to automatically hold the breath, it does it for you once you ADS, right? But they're calling it autofocus. It's called autofocus in this game, right? AF. So it's abbreviated right here, AF. And then I have block rubber as well, BR. So I got both right here enabled, AF, BR. Okay, autofocus and block rumble. Please, this is very important for love of God. If you want to... Have the mod to automatically hold your breath. You got to set it here as a global mod, all right? And then whatever sniper you have in your hand, if you're able to hold the breath, it's going to automatically hold the breath for you once you ADS, once you hold down L2, all right? I don't like, your boy doesn't like, you know, in-game vibrations, so that's why I got these two set. If you like vibrations, all right, then you're just going to want to go with autofocus, all right? This is the two only ones that you want. Like I said, if you like vibrations, then just go with AF, all right, AKA autofocus. All right, moving on. Both triggers, all right, for hair triggers. You guys already know what those are. Now, active aim mod, nothing, disabled, all right? Because you're going to want to set your active shot mod to aim assist and leave the intensity at 15, okay? Leave it on 15. Do not set aim assist as the active aim mod because a lot of people say that when it comes to sniping, all right, in particular, when it comes to sniping, having aim assist as the active aim mod tends to work against you. And it actually does. All right, a lot of people could vouch. And a lot of people does say that, all right? So it's recommended to have aim assist as, as active shot mod, It right? Doesn't make a huge difference, but it does. It's there and it helps out once you fire, all right? Now moving on. Anti-recall mode, I right? Set this to no anti-recall, all right? Because in this video, we're focusing strictly on sniping, all right? Quick scoping, sniping, whatever have you, just focusing on a sniper rifle, all right? So set this to no anti-recall. All right, these two are going to work hand in hand, setting it to no anti recall and having an active shot mod as aim assist, leaving it on the test C15, you're good to go. All right, skipping this because we're not using weapon AI right here. Moving on to weapon swap mode. This is to each their own. All right, you guys already know what this is. I'm manual weapon swap, meaning if I want to swap to my secondary, I'll have to press and hold test pad, press triangle for primary or circle for secondary. All right, these two weapon profiles right here. All right, like primary, secondary, primary, secondary for my loadouts. All right. Now, I recommend you guys set this to automatic if you are rocking out with a dedicated secondary. Like, for example, if you have a secondary and you wish to be using it, all right, if you're following this exact setup, set this to automatic. I'm leaving it on manual because a lot of you guys, a lot of my OGs already know I prefer manual. It's just how I am. I'm just so used to it. It doesn't really bother me. All right, but for this exact setup, set this to automatic because what's going to happen is if you leave it on manual and then you forget to swap to your, you know, swap weapon profiles and you swap to your secondary, what's going to happen is when you hold L2, all right, and you let it go, it's going to automatically fire, all right? It's going to, to do that regardless, even if you swap to your secondary. So just bear that in mind. You're going to want to set this to automatic, all right? And then your secondary, let's say if you have like a pistol or whatever or the F-Tac siege or whatever, you want to set it here. Even though we're not using the weapon profiles like for anti-recoil, you want to set it here, 
So like that, when you ADS and you and let it go, it doesn't like automatically fire. It doesn't fire off a shot because it's thinking that you're using your primary, right? Which is going to be set to generic release quick scope, right? I'm not using any of the sniper rifle weapon profiles, right? As you can see, I'm not using any of them because in this video, I prefer to use release quick scope. I, I got some gameplay for you guys and I'm going to explain more at the end after the gameplay why I prefer release quick scope. But pretty much what that does is, like I just said, and I'll show you guys in the beginning, when you ADS, when you hold down L2 and you let it go, it's automatically going to fire. Right? You can adjust that as well. You can make that even faster, but I just leave it as is. I, I just leave it and I don't adjust it and I leave everything zero zero, obviously, because we're not using anti-recoil. I'm just setting it like this because we're just firing off one round. All right, we just want the autofocus and quick scope. That's it. Boom. So when you ADS, it's going to automatically hold the breath. And then when you let go of L2, it's automatically going to fire off a round. So like that, you don't even have to worry about shooting yourself. Everything is just with the press of a button. ADS and boom, you're good to go. I got some gameplay. And like I said, right after that, I explained a bit more about it. And I actually jump into firing range to show you guys. But enjoy the gameplay. And I'll see you guys after. And by the way, as always, it's the same exact settings, same as that game pack on the strike pack as well. All right. So let me just quickly scroll down so like that you guys can see. I right, pass the little paddle mods and stuff like that. Global mods, you can see AF, BR, both triggers, nothing as active aim mod, active shot mod, aim assist, 15 intensity, no anti recoil. Okay. Manual, that's just me. But I, like I said, remember, you can also change that to automatic. Okay. And generic, I load out one permanent weapon, release quick scope right here. Boom. All right. No values, obviously. And then if you want, you can set up a secondary here. But just remember, we're not using, you know, anti recoil. So I mean, you can still set the web profile. But like I said, set it if um, you are rocking automatic. All right. Boom. All right. Now jumping straight into it, the sniper rifle I'm choosing. All right. For today's video is the MC. PR 300. All right. To be exact, this is Joe Wo's exact setup for this weapon. The attachments, tunings, and all. All right. So he rocked out with the five round mag, which is insane. I right? of course the explosive rounds. All right. For the sniper, just makes the sniper just broken. All right. Next up, he had the nail sound 90. All right. Muzzle giving us sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. Like I said, his exact tunings. All right. He ran the OMX barrel. Bullet velocity, damage range, recoil control, and hit fire accuracy. This is his tunings for that. And last but not least, he had the Forge Tac Delta 4 Optic. All right. With this, like I said, look at the bottom. I followed his exact tunings. All right. Now, if you see one thing different or two, it's because I changed it, but I'm 100% sure that I followed his exact tunings all right, for his attachments. Now, the bottom, I'm not sticking to that. All right. This is just for this video. All right. Because I wanted to follow his exact tunings to the T and this is a sniper only video pretty much. All right. So I wanted to focus on now pretty much wanted to focus on auto hold breath or AKA auto focus. All right. And the weapon profile quick scope release. All right. And show you guys like to break down how to set everything up. And of course, aim assist as a shot mod on 15 while not using anti recall because focusing again only on sniping. So you just turn it off. You don't want to use anti recall. Anyway, we got aim assist as a shot mod and we run it with auto focus and set into web profile as quick scope release. All right. Again, these are Joe Wo's exact attachments with the tunings and everything. Here's the rest of the setup. I still am keeping the F tax siege. I, I like this weapon as a secondary, All right? But I'm still sticking to manual weapon swap. Like you saw in the beginning and I explained, I, I'm just so used to it for multiplayer. But for all those of you, all right, you're going to want to set automatic, like I said, all right? and then set up your secondary. If you're running a secondary, if you want to focus on the secondary as well, make sure you just match that weapon profile, all right? Or else if you manual, you're going to bump into an issue where when you press triangle, you're going to have to just manually always swap your weapon profiles by pressing and holding touchpad and pressing triangle for primary or circle for secondary. If you automatic, you don't got to worry about that because in this gameplay you're about to see and in this whole video, all right, if you set it up just like this, Bear in mind, every time you press and hold L2 and we let it go, it's going to fire. Even if you swap to your secondary, it's going to do the same exact thing. I, I don't mind. All right. I can still control things. All right. But if it's annoying to you, like I said, just make sure you switch that to automatic. All right. Automatic and then set up your secondary accordingly to whatever it is that you are using. Just match it to that specific weapon profile. All right. I ran a decoy grenade, Semtex, 
I also ran double time scavenger and focus. I right? you don't necessarily have to run focus. I right? you can still use fast hands, but I just swap to focus because again it helps out a little bit. I'm sniping, so reduce flinch when aiming down sights and extended hold breath duration. All right, you don't have to, like I said, and then of course quick fix. All right, and inflatable decoy. I was using it for just that extra XP from before. I forgot to swap, uh, change it out, but eh, I don't really care. Enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, so let's go on with the MC PR and keeping the F tack as my secondary. So let's see. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the thing about this. Once you hold L2, ooh, it's pretty good though. Like, see? Oh. What were you laying down there for if you're not gonna? See, it's pretty good. Like, I'm not a sniper at all. But, see, the thing about this, ooh, you gotta be quick. But being able to, like, do everything with just, like, oh, he got me. Being, being able to, like, do everything with just a push of a button. Eh. Like I said, I'm not a sniper, but I'm showing you all those of you who are a sniper, like this setup right here. You guys could be doing this. Bro, hello, team. Jesus Christ, everyone's playing like bots. Look at this. Oh my God. I got teammates just laying down doing nothing, bro. Ooh, I caught him right there. I got him everywhere. Oh, I heard him. I heard him to my right side. You know, I'm just. See? I want. I don't want to start sweating a little bit. It's supposed to be a sniping video. You guys can already tell. I am horrible at sniping. Sniping is not even my thing at all whatsoever. I do not snipe. You can clearly see this. But uh, it is what it is. And at the top of it all, my team is horrible. They're not doing anything. See, I could sweat if I want to throw on a bully auto, but I'm trying to just snipe. Show you guys this setup real quick. I'm hard scoping, I don't care. If you want, you can have automatic weapon swap. I have a me, I don't really care. I have like. I have manual. It doesn't really bother me. See, once you, oh, I got a hit marker. Once you, once you let go, like once you let go of L2, it's going to just fire. So, yeah. See, once you let let go of L2, it's just going to fire. So you got to be like pretty good at a uh, quick scoping and stuff like that. But I think this is the best possible way. Woo! This is like the best way to set up. For all those of you that do snipe, because I don't really snipe. Like having it just like one button for everything. You can just like let it go. But I wasn't paying attention. That's like one of the main reasons why I like to be sniping. Because you have to depend on your teammates a lot for everything. Get off of me. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I gotta do everything. But you gotta be depending on your teammates. Oh, that would have been nasty if I would have did that right there. Yeah, my team is just not doing nothing at all whatsoever. I got hit markers like nothing. Nope. Please kill him. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I knew it. My, my team wasn't going to do anything right there. Oh my God. I'm dead. I heard him behind me. You guys clearly see that I am not a sniper whatsoever. I do not snipe, so. Why are you camping there? Oh, they just spawned me in front of somebody like that. It's 
crazy. This is hectic what's going on right now. Yeah, this is this is I got teammates that's just not even doing nothing. Is a map shipment is not that that map to be sniping on. Oh, I don't know what happened right there, but shipment is not a map to be sniping on. I hear someone behind me. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, I shouldn't have uh, challenged that. That's pretty good. No, no, what? Are you bro, I got teammates everywhere. That's, you see what I'm saying? Guys, you see this? Like, bro, you be having teammates everywhere. They don't do nothing. Bro, it's like, it's like they just, like they just stare at you die. Bro, you have somebody right there. Woo, okay. Picking up a little bit. I'm dead. Last shot. I'm dead. I knew it. Look, 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 look. Look! Bro, you're, li you're literally laying right. I'm, I, you can't make this up. What in the heck was that? What is this lobby? It's maybe because I have Amos as, as a shot mod and I'm not using anti recall, so. But again, this is this is about sniping anyway. Quick scoping. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. I'm not a sniper. Never claimed to be. Eh. I'm just showing you guys uh, how to go about. Woo. I'm afraid to look at the score. Eh. Eh. Ooh, that freaking chopper gun. I wouldn't be surprised if they drop a nuke. No, he was gonna push. He pushed because he saw me sniping. Woo! Behind. Oh no no! Behind me! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! I'm dead! Never mind. 53. Uh, I guess like may, maybe more than half my kills came from my secondary. I don't know. But you guys get the idea. I mean, you saw you saw the setup in the beginning. I was. Pretty dope though. Being able to have like everything just done with the press of a button. I mean, that's how I would go about. Like I said, 53, 32 sniping. I'm not really a sniper. That's not my thing. I don't really snipe. So I don't, I don't care if I didn't do so, so good. All right, and before I let you guys go, let me just jump to a game all right, real quick in the firing range just to show you guys, all right, what it's looking like. The whole thing just accidentally pressed it. All right, but let's go ahead and reload. As you can see, all right, I'm using the Edge controller all right, on PS5. All right, boom. Show you guys. All right, see, I'm in a party with my boy, but I muted him and I muted myself. All right, so look, just with the press of L2, just press down on it and let it go. And as you can see, it's going to fire as well as hold, all the whole breath. So, it automatically holds the breath, and then once you let go of L2, it fires for you, so you never really gotta press R2 unless you swap like to your secondary, all right? 
a manual weapon swap. So that's just the way I play, right? And the point of the video was just to show you guys about um, sniping. But if you want, if you want to be rocking a secondary and do things right, you will have like automatic weapon swap, right? So like that, this doesn't happen to you. So let's say, for example, for me, I got my secondary out. When I hold L2, I let it go. You see, it's always going to do that because on the Zen, I got it straight stuck on the first um, primary weapon of my loadout, right? Which is this, right? My sniper. So just bear that in mind. So you want to make sure you got the right weapon profile set to your secondary and you got automatic weapon swap. If you're manual, then you're always going to have to press the whole touchpad and then press triangle for primary, circle for secondary, right? But again, look, just boom. Look, not even moving, not firing R2, just release. And that's it. Boom, it's going to fire. So it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I mean, this way might not be for everyone, right? But I think this is a lot better. I think this is like your best bet rather than just using the actual web profile and stuff like that. If you really want to be quick scoping, I guess this would be like the best bet. This is this would be like your fastest way. All right. So just check it out. Boom. Boom. And even farther distance. Boom. You see that's so simple. All right. I'm not even pressing R2. I'm just see pressing L2 and releasing. As always, take care everyone. Till next time.